here we have a closer look at the AR1. So just going over some of the features. The system uses uh, 900 PSI input, so you can use standard uh, high pressure tanks. It also features a collapsible stock for a range of adjustment. Very simple to remove the tank, you just remove the stock and slide the uh, adjustment bar down, unscrew the tank, you can easily carry extra tanks in the field. The grip is a gas blowback AR style grip, so you have a lot of adjustments and uh, customization. The full auto trigger group that the, this version comes with has an adjustable rate of fire. We've gotten as low as about five rounds per second. We can take it all the way up to uh, 30 plus rounds per second. The uh, velocity adjustment is in the upper manifold as well as the bolt return. And in this version, we have a small hole in the side. That will go away in the final version. You will have to open it up to adjust the velocity. Also, we will have a rear body pin that will have a zip tie hole to lock the rifle for field limits once it's been chronographed. With the uh, upper, we've gone with a uh, heavyweight outer barrel. That is a Western Arms, King Arms design, but the inner barrel is an AEG inner barrel and bucking. It has our proprietary CNC aluminum hop-up unit, but it also has a Delrin concave nub and is adjusted through a small hole here in the top of the receiver. So you no longer have to remove the rail to adjust the hop-up. Uh, the FPS is, a, we've gone as low as about 285 feet per second. We've gone as high as about 560, 570. And uh, that's uh, the AR1.